Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner and our hard mode series. We are in our fleet star where we left off last time. And if I remember rightly, we were trying to get sort of down towards Quarry, which is actually just on our right. We were collecting up vehicles and trying to sort of get ourselves organized a little bit. I think after we've got the fleet star sort of in position. We'll be looking to go and collect the twin steer. It's a shame we can't really pull much through with the twin steer. We'll go and get the twin steer. We'll bring that through. It's going to be a bit of a strange episode, I think, this one. As I get vehicles in. We've got the uh, the White Westerns here. The Pacific's waiting to go through for login deliveries and stuff like that. So let's just, let's just crack on with it. Let's try and get things moved as quickly as possible. We shall need to go to Island Lake. This is where the twin stair is. It's a shame we can't get much much else. I mean, wooden planks. Service parts, consumables. We don't need them from here. We've got to get out of here to start with anyway. So uh, yeah, let's just uh, let's just get moving. Beautiful stuff, right? So, yeah, I think everything that we want, we can pretty much get within the dam. Pretty certain that this was uh, <laughs> an awful maneuver. <laughs> Let's start that again. I think there might be. A uh, small fuel trailer or a, a scout fuel trailer we probably just drag behind this. Take that through and see what's in it. Oh yeah, no all wheel drive on here, is there? If you've not got load, you shouldn't struggle too much. If I've got load yet, you shouldn't struggle too much. Now I'm hoping, hope I can get this uh, it, uh, recorded, edited, and uploaded because I'm having to do it the day before it goes out. So if we miss today, I do apologise. We've. Uh, but I've just not had time, it's just that simple. Um, there were two days I thought I was going to get a fair bit of recording done in the evenings and then um, I was hoping for a sort of quiet day of the weekend but we've had a poorly boy and it's just not been possible. I'm sure you guys will understand. Also why we didn't get our streaming. If you ever want to know what's going on or why things are missing, I tend to use Discord more than I do the community feed. Because not everyone sees the community feed and anyone can just drop in Discord. So, if you want to know what's going on, why things might be quiet or, or what's happened, come join the Discord. There's a link down below. We try and be as transparent as possible with everything. Right, grab some fuel from this one. So, I mean, we've got fuel. It's just not in the best of places for us at the minute. There is a little scout trailer, right? We'll, uh, what is in that? How much you got, sir? That's full. Okay. We'll just hoss that along behind us, I think. Enjoy a little bit of daylight. Get so many of these transitions in the night. There we go. Now, 
was that empty? I can never remember. This fuel trailer, what's in you? Or would it be better then to... This way, this way, this way. Hopefully, this will work. Uh, in the cab, I might be too far away from both of them. We'll see. Oh, that isn't gonna attach, anyways. It's not got an attached trailer, so. Annie Annie about with it. Like, I'm too far away from that fuel trailer. There we go. So, if we've got all that. Really, Let's try and sort of winch that out of the way. Now, I might come to regret this, but I am gonna, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna move that fuel trailer. So that's right near the entrance in uh, Island Lake. There we are, we're connected. How well this will go, <laughs> I didn't really can tell you, but we'll give it a try, see what we can do. It's already looking a bit slippy. I think if we get the twin stair back to the garage, we may even have some upgrades for it. It might just be slow progress. I think it might be like we did once before when we've come through with something and we sort of drive a bit, winch a bit, <laughs> drive a bit, winch a bit. But we're going to need more fuel. Sort of almost going to be like our, our main sort of working area at the minute, which is up by the dam and by the warehouse. I cannot recall what sort of upgrades there even are for the twin steer. Like I said, I've never really used it a great deal. But we, you know, we might have something for it. If anything, just a slightly better engine or... 
what have you. Maybe tyres? I thought the tyres don't look too bad. some traction so we're not quite burying ourselves with it. What we need is a dual winch so we can attach the two points. <laughs> Trying to catch you without stopping. Losing the momentum is when all the trouble starts. It's when we get buried. We'll also uh, bring the Land Rover back through from Drummond's and I think we have a scout fuel trailer there as well that we can bring through maybe. As for <laughs> best way up that way or the actual quarry. Some quite narrow turns coming up is what I'm thinking. Well, just going that way might be easier with the twin steer and pulling this trailer. You know, if worse comes to worse, we can send the uh, White Western Star out to finish recovering this trailer. I think that the all-wheel drive, if there is a wheel drive for this, is probably offered somewhere like Kola Peninsula or one of the DLC maps. I think we're going to try the... Oh dear. So we're going to try left, then we got stuck.
but I don't think I've said it yet, so I uh, hope you're all well. Thanks for the support on the series again. So I always say, no, it's a long one, and we've barely started. We're probably about 8% of the way <laughs> through the series, 8%. 8% of the way through doing the maps, so that's the, all, the, all the maps, so that's, that's the series. I think this is episode 38. It'd be nice if we can finish off another job before we hit 40. It's just that the uh, cement and obviously the super order are quite big. The deliveries coming from the, sh the ship as well. What a challenge. I may, even, I can't remember what I said last time. I may even change my mind and try and do them just so we've got that trailer. I think I said that before. if we get some movement. Does it seem like we can? This may be going all kinds of wrong for us. How about I stop trying to do it from there and just use... Side winches, maybe. Does not want to play ball with this trailer. There's a doubt. <laughs> That's gonna. I'm not gonna stay there if I try and winch myself up, is it? I think it has. Come on. In dark, it took nearly all day just to move this. It's been a good trailer, I'll give it that. It's been a good trailer.
Let's try and see if we can get it a little bit closer to us. Dragon is from so far away does not help either. Oh, we've clipped a branch. <laughs> Watch out for those branches. They will stop you in your tracks. But this, this is all part of the challenge of the hard mode. Moving your resources about. You know, the good man Wessel did, did comment on the last episode, you know, the importance of, you know, planning out, being prepared, and unfortunately that's not something that we've really done. So I've only got myself to blame for why we're struggling. This is the longest it has ever taken me to get this hill. Another one. Then this one's going to be more problematic as well. Maybe a case of uh, of collecting it with something else. Our range. There we go. It's that far away, we can't, can't even refuel from it. I'm not even sure I'm going to get myself up there now. Try and sort of 
push ourselves up with a winch. How well will you stay on the hill with me, my friend? Okay, right. So what can we winch to for ourselves? That'll do. Hmm. I'm supposed to come and get that now. Definitely. Right. weight of the chassis does not even want to <laughs> pull it down. Actually, we'll, we'll, we'll try and grab it from there. Come through. It's not too bad. It's not great. We're up. Can we get our beloved trailer? you pass that tree and you'll be fine mate like a professional trailer recovery or something that was so if we uh, maybe all that in there just want to check and see what that'll be all right
might leave that here for now. And then that'll be fine. And it'll be much easier to get. Could I need it? Rather than trying to, you know, keep. Although this is the easy bit, I've done the hard bit, but pulling it along here. I may need fuel around that area later on. Perseverance there, though. I think that went that went all right. So what I would like to do is get, like I say, get back to the garage and just see what we can uh, pop in here, or yeah, pop on out, grader wise, and then we'll look to see what we can load on here to take with regards to cement and super order. Or we might go and get that. We might go and get the uh, Land Rover first. Yeah, it's something else with a crane on up near the garage we could get it over to the service point we could load this up and do the um, the contest that's going from the service warehouse to uh, to the farm and I know last episode I saw looked over what we needed and where and when that's that's all completely uh, <laughs> left my memory <laughs> so I'll have to have a, another good look at that, what I'll have to do I'll have to, <laughs> have to write it down at some point thing is, while you're in the map looking at stuff, obviously time is ticking by let's take a quick screenshot of it That would work out better for me. I mean, that we, I may not have anything that I can put on here, but I just want to check just to, to see if I can make life a little bit easier for myself. Experienced runners have probably gone, no, mate, you ain't got nothing, you ain't got nothing. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I need to check. Have a look to see if you can actually. It'd be nice if you could unfold that ramp on the back there. Because clearly that's a you flip that over and you can get a winch on the back there, you could winch your vehicle up on there. Look. That top bit. That would flip over, you you'd drive up that something up onto that. The wooden boards. I don't think vehicles that had those sort of functions come in until a little bit later on with DLC. No, 
know, I, I could be completely forgetful, and we might have already gone to the garage and tried to do this, like, 10, 15 episodes ago. I don't know. Because they, they don't look like the standard tyres, but I don't recall bringing this through. There would have been no reason to bring it through. No, I don't know how much we'll, we'll use the twin steer once we're out of Michigan, but it's a vehicle that we're going to have, and I'm sure I can find jobs for it. So, customization. In oh, see, we can't put a nice big engine in it. Why not go for the biggest? Right, should we go for the right? Probably should just go for the biggest. Don't know. Wasting money if I buy one and then move on, aren't I? And I don't know what else that'll be for. I do apologise if you can hear crying. That's my little man, but he's he's with his mum. He's all right. Um, off-road gearbox probably be handy. Ooh, in Alaska. Oh, then we're talking. Okay. Ice Cola Peninsula. Perhaps we have looked at this. I do like superb. Oh, we'll wait until we get somewhere where we're going to swamp it. Probably. Perhaps we'll be using it in Alaska. Diflox there. Winch. Stock heavy. Um, I keep buying winches for everything, don't I? going to be pulling some weight. I'll go with it. Tell me I'm crazy. I probably shouldn't keep selling all the things I'm taking off as well, because if I ever want to take these parts put on something else. I spend a lot of money, aren't I? Right, tyres. Got all terrains on. What we really want was some like flotations, really, really. faff about with tires, I know, I'm sorry. What nice big one. I want to get that raised suspension. I think they're probably our No, they're our best option. There we go. That's what we're going to go with. I'm not going to do the engine. I'm hoping the gearbox and tyres are going to be enough to help me out. don't want to pay for the parts so we need to do everything I'll be doing a lot of back and forth that's probably why I wanted to bring the, uh, the fuel a bit further this way i uh, do a lot of the back and forth with the bleed star getting what we need where we need it
it may just be in my head, but she's feeling a bit more capable. Shame we can't get the all wheels. stay there for a little minute and we shall go and sort out our Land Rover which I'm pretty certain a fuel semi trailer is that the only one it is so what I might try and do is come through and get the we go into no I was in Drummond Line we go into Island Lake got a scout fuel trailer here so we'll go try and grab that because when we come through all we're going to need to get to I believe is over the sawmill or the logging station I think I don't think we need to go anywhere else when we deliver in here that is so it may even be the warehouse. We've got fuel there still in case we do decide we want to travel up the map. And I'm going to come through and I want to bring that closer to there anyway. So yeah, this, this next then is uh, grabbing that. Let's get moving since we've not got a lot of daylight. Plenty of fuel for ourselves, I believe. Not quite, but that's alright. We can refuel for ourselves. There we go. Because that's the trailer I want to be getting to uh, do these ship delivery things. If you've never seen the job before, you'll you'll understand why I'm a little bit apprehensive about what I do it. I might say apprehensive, but you know, apprehensive is the wrong word. I know we can do it. I've done it many times. I just know that if we're recording it on hard mode, it's it's going to go wrong. I know I'm going to lose a container or two. And it just starts to get a bit embarrassing. Like I say, because I know I can do it. We've done it. We did, we've done it live on stream as well, so. And that was a little bit. That was a bit of a challenge. Plus, we had. I think we were using the, the wolf pack. I say we, I was using the, the wolf pack. Um. X-47s, because I really like them. I'd love to be able to afford to get some of them for this series, but I don't think I'm ever going to have that sort of money floating around. Not unless something crazy happens. We, we may have to do a couple of repeat deliveries on the jobs in uh, Drummond to try and get a little bit of money back. I know there's not a lot there. And it does mean using up our fuel. But I know that going forward, at some points, we're going to need to buy vehicles. <laughs> Especially when we get to Russia. Like, we definitely have to buy a vehicle when we get to Russia, because we haven't got any Russian vehicles. Unless we take something that's a little bit international, if we've got something that works that way. The Land Rover. So, this might be the only vehicle I have to work with in Russia, unless we get something. I think there's, there's a cat, isn't there, in Alaska? So we can have a Land Rover and a Caterpillar to start off in Russia with, if I've not got enough money saved up.
Let's get that corner. This is nasty. Let's get some more fuel. Skip the night bit. Now I've done this. Let's, let's hope there's actually fuel in it, shall we? There is. Okay. We will move it around naturally. If we get it all, that we might not even need the. Oh, it's 225 in it. Yeah, as I say, we might not even need the trailer. So back we go. Again, we'll skip that. Yeah, probably a bit late to be pointing out some, some nice little shortcuts, but yeah, that, that top corner is awful, so if you can swing through there, that's pretty good. And that's why I often go the wrong way, and then I forget, I'm like, oh no, it's, it's alright, I can't go that way. I just think it's a little bit naughty that when you, when you come into Drummond from that angle, or that entrance, sorry, that it has, has you set up to drive straight down into a dead end rather than the route that takes you anywhere, but... It is what it is. You know, it might feel a little bit redundant doing this, but having you know, 250 litres plus the 700 litres, I think, that's actually in the Land Rover, rather than paying $8 a litre somewhere. I think in Russia, it can be as much as like $12, $15 a litre or more. I'm sure some mats probably have it even more. Like I said at the very start, I didn't think we needed to worry about fuel. When I watched people, I thought they just a bit, over, a bit over the top. I've said a, said a couple of people. You know, some people are not as good as my man Wesley, but at managing it and getting it about and doing stuff, and they they were still quite frantic with their fuel. I was, that just seems unnecessary because I'd watched Wesley, and he has loads left. <laughs> What's everyone doing? And then, yeah, if you don't actually plan it out, you do need all the fuel. Ad hoc snow runner on hard mode is a guzzler. But for anyone that wanted to experience the hard mode, I would recommend New Game Plus with hard mode settings except allow yourself to sell the trailers for like a third of the cost I think there's like the option for a third or 25% but double the price of um, purchased cargo so if, you, if you've like forced purchase or if you've 
you know, make the mistake. You have to pay double for it. But you have that that extra income coming in. Does that allow you to have a little bit more money to, I like say, play around with the DLCs and the mods a bit more? Because that's something that I am sort of missing with this. And I know we're not very far in, but I would like to have had a couple of different trucks from sort of base game running on the series rather than just the one lander over from the start. Now in time we may we may find that we sell if we haven't already sell the trans star or whatever it is. The little um, highway truck. We'll keep the GMC because that can that can work out to be an alright off-roader and the time may come when I have to sell it, like I've just run out of money, I have to sell trucks. I can see that being the thing. I think we still have um, an extra CK1500. I think we've got two. No, we've got two, so we still the first one, so we've still got one of them. Now I'm happy with this being my main my main scout for the entire series, if we're gonna move it about. And I would like to get a load star. So beyond that we don't really need any more scouts unless we mess up. But I'm sure not 100% but I'm pretty sure. I know that obviously Alaska's got a couple of scouts that you get to have and or at least one scout you get to have and I know there's scouts in Time Air so I know that there are ones to get. So if every map has at least one or two scouts for you. you know, they don't sell for a lot but that is, that is, my, that is my fuel money or my tyre money. <laughs> That's what that is. get through the tunnel and then we'll check the time. I think we're all right for a little bit of time. A little bit of morning sunshine. So it is 6.30, so where shall we go with this? Do have a job to run from here. I don't contested deliveries, so I may I might park this just up here for now. And that might so once again. I know it seems redundant, but it's, the fuel is here and it's on this map. This is where I want it because eventually, when we finish. We need to bring all the fuel and everything uh, through anyway. Obviously, not all the trailers, but do need to bring all the fuel through. The fuel through. The f yeah. It's getting late. Right. So, White Western Star. Please and thank you. We are disconnected, aren't we? Yeah. So we're going to go into Drummond. I want to move the fuel tanker there a little bit, I think. So I know it's pedantic, but I want to move the fuel tanker there. I think. I think I do. Probably not, actually. So that means you want to get to... Island Lake. Island Lake to move that fuel tanker. And then into Drummond to. I think we'll do the. Uh, 
the cargo from the ship. Once I've finished faffing with my fuel. And then we'll have the trailer I want, and then we'll do all the loading up for cement and super water. Or order supreme or whatever it's, whatever it's called. time. Yeah, because then I'll have two five slots and a four slot to do our deliveries. And our delivery that goes into Drummond um, doesn't need anything from elsewhere because that's all already on the map. To be fair, I wanted to go. Let's go down there. So busy getting my horse on. Kind of forgot where I was going. think oh a bit late anyway Crikey. we'll call it a day there so I will go we'll get the fuel so, so I know it's so dandy we get the fuel adjusters here and then we will um, not here but we get the fuel adjusted in Island Lake and then we'll go into Drummond we will try and try and do the uh, deliveries from the ship and then we'll see where we're at. But that's, that's the plan for the next time. Like I said, I'll, I'll get this um, edited, processed, uploaded, and hopefully out for Monday. Um, as for when the next episode will be, I don't know. Because I want to try and start doing my my streams. I want to try and do the farm sim stream on a Monday. Then we've got our regular snow runner. Should be going out on Tuesday as a live stream. And then hopefully farm Wednesday, Thursday live stream for snow runner. So I might not get another chance to really record until um friday depends on how things go monday is my son's birthday he's not been well so we'll see what that is but anyway hopefully you've enjoyed this episode just be pulling fuel about but you know, a little bit of chat trying to make you understand what we do make you understand trying to explain <laughs> what i'm trying to do and hoping it makes sense but thank you for the support um if you are new here hit the old subscribe it does help us out Give us a thumbs up, drop us a comment down below, and hopefully I will see you again very soon. Bye-bye.